In this video, we are going to be typesetting the quadratic formula using tech. And since we're not doing any Python programming, let's just delete that code cell and include a text cell where we can get started writing some markdown. In fact, I'm going to get started with an H1 heading called quadratic formula. Now, for the purposes of this example, we are going to be finding the roots of a degree two trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Now you'll notice that this is not being typeset uh, in the browser and that is because Google Colab does not support this form of inline math notation for the math environments. We have to use this more traditional tech style for the inline math environment. I also want to point out at this time that I'm not including any spaces between factors when we have this implied multiplication notation, but I do place a space on both sides of addition and minus sign operators. And that's more for the aesthetics of your code to make it a little bit easier to read. Now we're going to get into our first equation environment, which is an align environment. And it's called the align environment because we're going to be able to align our stacked equations at some point or symbol. And for this example, we are going to be our aligning our equations at the equal sign. And that's why I've placed this ampersand in front of the equal sign. That's telling LaTeX that these stacked equations, at some point they'll be stacked, will be aligned at the equal sign. Now we're going to include our first uh, display function here, which is the display fraction command. And it has two arguments, a numerator and a denominator. And since we're typesetting the quadratic formula, we're going to get into the numerator. We have negative b. We have the command pm for plus minus, uh, that infix operator here, for the two cases of the square root. So we have the square root command, and it has an argument which will be the radicand, and for this specific case is the discriminant of b squared minus 4ac. And moving into the denominator where we have the product 2a. And we've done it. We have now typeset the quadratic formula using LaTeX. But maybe we want to take this a step further and be explicit about both our roots. So we're going to have two equations, uh, one for each of the two possible roots. So to do this, let me first get rid of that uh, period. And I'm going to go ahead and call my first root x sub 1. And that means I'm going to change that plus minus to an infix plus sign. So there is my first root. And I'm going to call this case 1. So double ampersand and then backslash text command. And we'll just call this case 1. I'm then going to include a double backslash to get me into my second equation, which I'm now going to let x sub 2, my second root, be defined by, well, we're going to copy and paste in that expression. And we're just going to change that infix plus operator to an infix minus and then call it case two. And you can see now that we have both our roots, two equations that are stacked and everything is beautifully aligned. In fact, these equations are aligned about the equal sign. Now this can get a little bit difficult to read as the line length gets very long. So what you can do is include some line breaks in your code to make things a bit easier. Now as a beginner, this might look more difficult to read, but as you become more experienced, you'll actually find it easier to navigate your code. Now another command that I wanted to bring to your attention was the overbrace command. If I go back to the original expression that we had, I'm going to use the overbrace command to create a brace over my expression. And now I can then use the text command to maybe call this a degree two trinomial. And you can see now that has been beautifully typeset within this inline math environment. If you wanted to, you could make use of the under brace command. Just note that you're going to have to change that caret to an underscore so that we can move that degree two trinomial text so that it is now below the curly brace. 
Nice. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take a look at a second way at finding the roots of a degree to trinomial. In fact, this is the more popular way to do this here in Sweden, and it is the PQ formula. Now, we are doing the same thing. We are trying to find the roots of a degree to trinomial. However, in this case, it is only valid for the form where a has a value of 1. So the coefficient of the x squared monomial term is 1. So what we're going to need to do first before we come up with this PQ formula is to change the form of our expression. And we are going to do so by factoring out a factor of a from our expression. So let's go ahead and show this. We're going to create a new align environment here. So we have begin align and end align. And we're going to start off with our expression, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. And I want to be able to show that we are factoring a factor of a to the left using the distributive law. And let's give this some color. So within the curly braces, I have the color command with an argument of red. And we can see here that that factor of A has been typeset in red. Now what I'm going to do is show the second factor uh, by placing a parenthesis here. So we're going to get x to the power of 2 plus, well, we're going to have a fraction here. So the defrac or the display fraction command with the numerator of b and denominator of a multiplied by a factor of x. And then we have our coefficient in this case, which is just going to be c over a. Notice how ugly this looks. Uh, we can see that these delimiters do not match the size of our fractions. And to fix that, we are going to scale these parentheses using the left and right commands. And we can see now that our expression has been typeset with these left and right parentheses that are scaled. Perfect. Now let's get into our next line. I'm going to get right into an ampersand and equal sign. And notice that this has been typeset with our equal signs aligned, and we can go into our next form of the expression. Also notice that if I remove those ampersands, the equal signs no longer align. So what we can now do is change these coefficients of b over a and c over a to a more abstract form. In fact, I'm going to change this coefficient of b over a to a parameter of p. And I'm going to do the same thing with that coefficient of c over a. I'm going to change that to a more abstract coefficient of q. So what we are now left with is x squared plus px plus q. And it's from this form of the expression that we're going to be able to complete the square. And in doing so, come up with the pq formula. Now the pq formula I'm going to state using one equation. However, I will be placing it within the align environment and making use of that ampersand to align the equal sign, even though there are no equal signs to align here. So the expression is going to be a fraction with the numerator of p and denominator of 2, which is negated. And to this, we are going to have our two cases. So we have our plus minus. Next, we are going to have the square root with a radicand made up of two terms. The first is going to be p over 2, which will be quantity squared. Notice that these parentheses have not scaled uh, with respect to our display style fraction. So to fix this, again, we're going to be making use of that left command and right command that precede the respective parentheses. And now it's been typeset perfectly. Now from this p over 2 quantity squared, we are going to subtract q. And there you have it. We have now typeset the PQ formula for finding the roots of our degree 2 trinomial, where the coefficient 
of the squared term is one. Again, we have the quadratic formula that we did first, followed by the PQ formula. Thank you for watching.